which is that there's another there's a narrow yard which takes 30 seconds to go from one end of the yard to the other and it's just the gray walls and both prisons were enclosed by nets so you might say we're like a giant aviary and we're in there like birds not being able to move anywhere now at limerick and the governor wants me to talk about this, is that there were plans, there are plans to have a new women's jail in Limerick, which would be pretty much like the Dorcas one, which there would be separate houses and there would be flowers and there would be things. That seems to be shelved. Instead, they have got a new wing for the men. There is no doubt about it, and I have no experience of the men's jail. From what we know is... They have no interest in women's jails. They don't know how to run a women's jail. And that report, which was published last week, said is that jail does not work for women because we have different um, whole things. If you put a woman in jail, you put a whole family in jail. And the prison officers don't like being in uh, looking after the women because they don't know how we're going to react. Because one prison officer said, oh, I don't like looking after the women because at least if you're in the men's jail and they can't go into a class, it's the men just accept that and they'll go away. Well, if it's women, oh, we all try and scream. And it's as if this fear that somehow or other we're going to become a collective hysteria and everything is going to break down. So it's all this tension is that this type of jail is not suitable for women. They have got to rethink the whole thing. And yet more and more women are going into jail. And not only that, is that judges now, if a woman who is pregnant, so the judge says, oh no, you only became pregnant because you thought you, uh, thought you weren't going to go to jail. And so, the, and so the women are put into jail. But then when you're in jail, then you have this whole system of a whole lot of different categories. If you behave yourself and you go and have community things, and then you've got to behave yourself, and then you might have to have your release, or you might have this, and you might have the other. So once again, it's all these things. So you can't complain. Now, that's the other thing about the women. If they complain, then they feel that they're not going to get their custodial thing, or they're not going to get their, their rights. Uh, they're not going to get their rights. So there does not seem to be an avenue to actually be able to be right. Now, one good thing that is happening, and it is a pilot scheme, and this is called... Um, Restorative, uh, no, I did write it all down somewhere in the bit of paper, which is usual. I've lost all my bits of paper. I kept on saying, I'm sure and I'm going to get all this wrong. The title of what it is, it's something like restorative justice. Uh, here we are, what's it called now? Restorative practice. And this is very much, it's uh, restorative practice, research and development. It's a pilot scheme. And this is very much in accordance with the UN Resolution 1325 of trying to resolve conflict. Now, this would be an absolutely wonderful thing. So for, this is the only jail that is actually doing this experiment. I think in England, they've had it for a couple of years, and it really works so that you would have women to understand what conflict, how to solve the conflict, because in, so that if you quarrel with somebody or if there's a dispute, to actually be able to have it out Equally so in relation to the prison officers themselves or the women in relation to the prison officers. So in one way, very advanced. But then are there going to be prison officers to actually be able to open the doors to let the women in to actually practice this? 